Hi, for this video, what I want to do is show you how to find the random variable x or the x value for a normal distribution using a free online graphing calculator called ClassCalc. You can find this at classcalc.com backslash graphing calculator. Okay, in a population, the heights of women are normally distributed with a mean of 63.6 inches and a standard deviation of 2.5 inches. Okay, um, so what we are going to do is we're just going to use our calculator to help us find this. So that tells us that for all of these, we have a normally distributed population that is centered at the mean. So it's centered at 63.6. And our standard deviation for all of these, our sigma, is going to be 2.5. Okay, um, so with this, if you are using the table, you would have to first find your z-score and then convert it. But using technology, you can go directly from your percentage to the answer. Okay, so for the first one that we're going to do is we're going to find the value of the height for a woman in the top 10th percentile. So anytime it says top, um, that means that the area is going to be shaded to the right. And so we're going to shade approximately 10% of our entire curve to the right. And we're trying to figure out what is our value or our height that corresponds to this starting point. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to grab the calculator. And like I said, it's classcalc.com backslash graphing dash calculator. Okay, and so when you get in here, what you're going to do is you're going to open up your menu and we're going to go to stat and we're going to go to the distribution plot. The first thing that we're going to do is the normal distribution and we're going to put in our mean of 63.6 and our standard deviation of 2.5. Okay, we're going to go outside the parentheses and we're going to hit the same button again. And we're going to go back to the stats menu, back to the distribution and plots, and we're going to put the inverse CDF behind it. So the inverse is when you know the percentage and you're trying to find the value that corresponds to it in this distribution. Okay, so with this, one thing to keep in mind is that when you are doing this, you do want to find the area to the left of the value. So I can either do 1 minus 0 0.10, which in this case is pretty easy. It would be 0.9. If it is difficult to do, you could plug that in here. So I could plug in 1 minus 0 0.10, which gives me the answer of 66.8. Or I could have just typed in 0.9 and notice it gives me the same thing. Okay, so our x value for this one ends up being 66.8 inches. So anyone who is 66.8 inches or above would be in the top 10th percentile for women's heights in this population. Okay, looking at our next one, find the height for a woman taller than 35% of other women. So what we're doing is we're trying to find the x value that corresponds to an area of 35%, which we would put in as 0.35. Since this is already area to the left, we do not have to worry about subtracting this time. So we would just come in here and we would change our 0.9 to 0.35. And we can see that someone who is 62.6 inches tall um, would be the height that is taller than 35% of other women. Okay, so that was 62.6 inches. Okay, and then for our last one, the last one that we have is if the heights are equidistant from the mean, we want to find the heights that 88% of women fall between. So again, we have the normal distribution. This time we're going to have a first x value and a second x value that are equidistant from the mean. So our mean, remember, was still centered at 63.6. Okay, and this distance here and this distance here are going to be the same. So it's basically going to be centered. So we were told that 88% of our area is in between. So what we need to do is we need to find the area to the left of our first one. Okay, um, so our area to the left of this one would end up being found by 1 half, 1 minus 0.88, okay, which ends up giving me 0.12, and so I would end up with 0.06. So the area to the left of x1 is 
0.06. And if you wanted to, you could come in here and you could just plug in one half times, and then you can plug in your parentheses, one minus 0.88. Or if you can easily do the math, you could have just typed in the 0 0.06. Okay, either way you get the same answer. It's just a matter of how difficult the numbers are to work with in your head. So we would see that it's 59.7 inches would be our lower height. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to find the area to the left of our second value. So there's a couple ways that we can do that. Since this is 0 0.06, that also means this is 0 0.06. So to find the area to the left of this one, I could do 1 minus 0 0.06, which is 0.94. I could have also taken half of this number, which would be 0.44. Okay, so half of it would be here because of the fact that they're equidistant from each other. And I know that 50% of the area falls below the mean. And so 50 plus 4, 0.44 would also give me the 0.94. So whichever way it's easier for you to figure out. Um, it's always going to be one minus one half of the one minus the area between. Um, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to change that to 0.94 and I end up with 67.5 inches if I round to the nearest tenth. And just make sure that you round to whatever decimal place they tell you to. Um, I rounded to the nearest tenth, uh, but Every time you do a homework problem, they will tell you a different decimal place to round to. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics that you would like me to cover, please let me know that as well.